Now, looking through this photo album brings back many, many pleasant memories. But it also serves to remind me of something that I think will be of interest to every young man who is in college or who is about to enter. Today, you have an opportunity to earn a commission as an officer in the Marine Corps without interrupting your academic schedule. Now, as a Marine officer, you can bring the asset of leadership to everything else that you have to offer. No matter what future you plan, business, industry, arts, or a profession, the experience and training you receive as a Marine officer will always be a big plus. I know it has certainly meant a great deal to me beyond my personal experiences as a Marine flyer. So don't let your college years pass without taking advantage of this opportunity to add a Marine commission to your degrees. Get the facts from your nearest local Marine recruiter. World takes you to Moeller, Illinois. Dentists at the Moeller, Illinois Moeller Clinic test a new tranquilizing drug on a zoo patient in need of dental repairs. As you can see, the new drug has an immediate soothing effect. Dr. Steelhammer of the clinic staff works with practically no help from his assistant there on the right. And now all they need is a new tranquilizer for dentists and their helpers. A new motel for chickens opened this week near Rooster Rock, Oregon. Contemporary modern apartment type living is offered. Each unit fully wired for hi-fi and low eggs with accommodations for drop-in business. <coughs> See? In Farragut, South Dakota, arriving on the luxury liner SS Baja Tokyo, a bevy of lovelies from the Madame Olio Fly Ballet Company. Uh, they'll appear on the Perry Kimona show during their visit to this country. And as you can see, the girls eagerly await debarking. Uh, notice the lovely gowns and the unique hairdos. The uh, upswept pompadour and the uh, downswept close the door. Their agent checks things over to be sure that all are accounted for. And there's the welcoming committee, looking even more eager than the girls. Here's the second boatload of arrivals. That's not a small boat, those are large men. Dateline, Grown, Tennessee. As part of the annual Huckleberry Festival, a wrestling match is slated between leading lightweight Herman Prone and a trained ostrich. Uh, Herman's on the right there. Herman sizes up his competition. Hey, watch it, Herman, that's a clever bird there. The ostrich is from New York. Uh, long neck, New York, I believe. Uh, Herman claims that he'll win the match hands down, but uh, only if he can get his hands down, of course. Now, watch those long legs. Uh, uh, Herman Prone, by the way, was picked to wrestle this match because uh, he's known as a chicken fighter. Now, watch those feet, Herman. Looks like the ostrich does this for kicks there. There's one right now. There's a step over neck lock, a reverse throat grabber. Compound double clutch that he has there, now he reaches run. And there's Herman Prone. And that's our funny world. Detroit. In these exclusive films, Funny World brings you a sneak preview of next year's cars. 
As you can see, the passengers there are sandwiched in between the doors. So the trend next year will be the open face touring car. Now these new features are from Detroit's drawing boards. In fact, one car looks like it is a drawing board. In Dover, England, channel swimmer Florence Halibut attempts a new channel record. Now, as you can see by the phonograph, in case she doesn't make it, she brought along her own record. Her measurements are 33, 45, and 78. A new slenderizing method demonstrated in this exclusive film from Massage, Utah. Irving Sledge shows the folks how to slim down the middle. The slenderizing kit of two sledgehammers and 200 pounds slab of concrete costs only $4. Uh, shipping charges $280. Good job, Irv. In Slips on Falls, a human fly contest by famous daredevils. This is uh, George Elevator showing the technique that won him seven national awards and complete hospital expenses. Hurry there. Get up the top. <laughs> well, this boy's being blindfolded because he can't stand high places. Uh, his name, by the way, is Samuel Kling. There goes Sam. You might say, what makes Sammy run all the way there, Sam? Oh boy. Crowd cheering him on. You can hear this tumultuous crowd giving a reaction like you never heard. There they are. That's, uh, oh, that's, no, no, that isn't E-Ben. Oh, here comes E-Ben, this, uh, no, this is not E-Ben. E-Ben is, there's E-Ben, that's E-Ben Shaky. That boy is working hard there. Give him three chairs, uh, three chairs, folks. That's it, watch it now. From sunny Italy, we watch the annual spaghetti eating contest. Now, these are the finals as photographed by our ace cameraman, Otto Focus. You saw his hand there just a second ago. Otto also directed the film, you see. Uh, would you get the waiter out of there? We're trying to see the waiter. Would you mind stepping out? Now, Otto Focus here told us about the keen competition between the contestants. Now, the first prize for the winner is a 400-pound meatball. Otto, sit down. Otto, turn, get, get, we've seen your tie, Otto. Move to the side, we're watching these. Now the winner was later disqualified when it was, Otto, sit down, when it was learned that he had consumed 11 pounds of spaghetti in secret just before the contest. There's the winner. takes you to Indianapolis, Indiana. Famous racing driver, Legs Bullet gets into condition for his attempt to break the world speed record for pedal cars. Stiff exercise is the order of the day. Legs Bullet must pedal his racer over 200 miles per hour to break the record now held by Foot Free Wilson of New York. Now this stilt walking exercise also builds confidence as you can see. A good exercise for the chairman of the board. And here's the big day, footloose and fancy free. There he goes. Legs calls his car the teardrop because he failed in his last attempt and cried for three days. There he goes, 201 miles per hour, establishing a new land record for pedal cars. In Wiener, Ohio, funny world home economist, Miss Sylvia Shingledecker, demonstrates a new twist in the food preparation for Tasty treats on your next garden party. Hot dogs with a lingering taste. It'll be uh, Frank's for the memories at your patio party. And by the way, uh, these can also be used for suitcase handles and for making signs during uh, baseball season. <laughs> Play ball! <clears throat> And now the newest in food service is shown in this film from Bark, Wisconsin. Just opened, a dog -ateria, catering to canine consumers. It features individual place settings for growling gourmets with such tidbits as Texas pink T-bones, grenadine of pheasant under glass, and 
fried postman trousers. Uh, Rover has his day, Dogateria style, proving it's a funny world. Here's an ingenious schoolgirl. She bought a war surplus balloon, and each morning she's off to classes. And she just hopes that the school remains downwind from the family farm. As so far, her only problem is an eight-mile walk home each evening, carrying 600 pounds of rubberized canvas. A cigarette holder ideal for cocktail parties. And here's one with a built-in ashtray. And this one for lovers only. Now, for those too busy to chain smoke, here's a new one that uh, lets you smoke a whole pack at a time. It's a bit messy for Mrs. Housewife in a cleanup department. And for the motorist to keep ashes off his vest, this new outboard model. That's a funny world. production staff gathers for dinner at the famous Brown Skullcap restaurant in Hollywood. Social grace and etiquette are the rule as various members of the staff partake of the many delicacies. Say, these films, by the way, are available for showing at civic clubs as examples of how to act when dining out. Immediately following this dinner, incidentally, plans for next year's affair were canceled by the restaurant. Honey World's Consumers Research Department test the latest in corduroy slacks. This friction test proved new trousers to be far superior to the man who made the test. He quit as soon as it was over. And here's the official seal given to all new products. Famous speedway drivers run through the trials for the grueling Pokes Peak Hill Climb. Watch out, boy. Heed of that slide, Mac. There comes a twisting hill climb. This road was laid out by Samuel Curve in 1922. And uh, Sam was laid out in 1923 after first attempting to uh, drive it. They're on their way up the top. Big audience waiting for them up there. Lots of excitement among the drivers and spectators alike. They're on their way. In just a moment, we'll see the car actually used by Samuel Curve in 1923. And there it is. Samuel was quite proud of this car. Just steal the wheel there, Charlie. That's it. I need that. Here we are in Paris. It's a funny world indeed for this hungry fellow. He's a well-known gourmet from Paris. He just finished a crash diet, you see lost 65 pounds in three days by not eating a bite. He eats newspapers instead. And making up for lost time, he shows our funny world camera a new adventure in good eating. Now, this man likes his food hot. Now, this is not a dietary supplement here. What he just ate was a Sunday supplement. This is the hot food. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Be careful there now. Just a light snack burning up the calories so they can eat whatever he wants to. That's all right. You can eat as much as you want, you know. The idea is not to swallow there. World cameraman Otto Focus rushing in from his latest assignment, airmail the hard way. Well, a new craze sweeps the German resort town of Hoopshaven. They really roll out the welcome mat for vacationers here. In fact, they roll out the vacationers. 
Now, this is ideal for couples who want to go around together. The new sport offers the latest in freewheeling. And not to be taken uh, lying down, it's ring around Rosie or uh, Helen or ring around Sam, and up we go, and around we go. You can hear they're having a gay time. There's a forward-looking one, huh? A little backward, too. Oh, here we have our old boyfriend at Ding-a-Ling Brothers Circus. Practice sessions for this young performer, being photographed by ace cameraman Otto Focus. Here's Otto getting his famous action shots. Notice the composition here. That's beautiful. The second annual Palm Springs Open Invitational became complicated this year when one invitation was sent by mistake to an elephant. Funny World cameraman Otto Focus films the action from all angles. Whoop, hit somebody there. Should learn to yell four, <laughs> which is difficult for an elephant. The elephant failed to qualify for the final rounds, however, and he quit the game in disgust. He claimed he'd had a snootful of golf. There's Otto taking pictures of it from another angle. And Otto will swoop down here. Get free. Funny World takes you to Washington, D.C., where Irving Flapp, test pilot for Futility Aircraft Company, shows Air Force officers another test craft. Once again, a Funny World first. <laughs> Wife and daughter are enjoying it too. Standing behind him 100%. Here's the newest idea for barbecues for your backyard. This is Ben Hot, the inventor. Ben says, get it all ready, then throw the torch, and you're ready for the party part. Try again, Ben. One way to get a hot foot. It's a hot world, a funny world. <laughs>